What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so... I know. In the last episode, we took a nice tour of our good old place of Veilstone, and we got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff covered. And trust me, guys, you do not want to miss this episode right here, because, uh, yeah, with him, we're going to be taking on Maylene, the barefoot fighting genius. And I should say a little bit of something-something about that, Okay. Okay, so here we are in the fighting gym of, uh, you know, Sinnoh, and well, homeboy here is like, Hey there! How's it going, champ to be? The gym leader uses fighting-type Pokemon. Uh, she be a terror against normal-type Pokemon, but, and it's just a big butt. Just between you and me, but, and it's just a big butt. Just between you and me, Maylene, the gym leader said, uh, flying, psychic, and fairy-type Pokemon could be a real trouble for her. You don't say. Okay. I got just the Pokemon for this. All right, so let's go right ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers right here. It's time. It's time. It's Veda time. Anywho, here we go. We're taking on the Black Belt Jeffrey, and he's coming out with his good old Machoke right here. And here we have Ultra Psycho ready to go. And yeah, I did teach you quite a few uh, good moves to some Pokemon right here. Ultra Psycho, I obviously it was going to learn Reflect at some point. But my other Pokemon, they're ready to go right here. So here we go. Psychic attack, psychic uh, whatever. <laughs> it, it just it just destroys these Pokemon. So yeah, the ultimate cheat code ready to go. And uh, yeah, look at that. Rosemond and Ultra Psycho growing levels, which is great. And Pennywise as well. Look at that. And Rosemond is learning Giga Drain. As you can see, I did teach it a new move. Dazzling Gleam. And well, for me, it looks like it might not need it might not need growth anymore. Huh, let's see. Let's see. We could take poison sting. You know what? Let's take growth away because you know how many times do you use do you guys see me use growth? Not a lot. Not a lot a lot, okay? So Giga Drain has been learned and now he's about to come out with a Metatite. Let's go with Pennywise right here. And Pennywise is another Pokemon that I've taught some good moves to. You know, just to balance out everything. Look at that. Pennywise, the big old balloon Pokemon right there. Take it on Meditite. Alright. As you can see, it does have psychic attack, so we're gonna go vanish instantly. That's right, you can't you can't see me, just like John Cena, and well, here we go. A detect attack. This guy was oh yeah, he knew exactly what I was gonna do. And <laughs> unfortunately. Phantom Force works against this whole detect, so take that detect out of the <laughs> take that detect back to your mama. And well, there we go. A hundred Q, we just defeat you, yes. Okay, alrighty. Anywho, let us move on right here. Yes, we have improved a lot on our Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and give Rosemont a little bit of a of, of a of a chance right here. We're the Quaddy Quads! I will strike a blow for love with my fist. Hey, I love! I don't understand what you meant right there, homeboy. I really don't. So here we go, taking on Colby. And, uh, well, he's going to be coming out with a Machop too. He's throwing it out like a Hadouken right there. Okay, so here we go. Rosemon ready to go. And, yeah, Rosemon's looking pretty good. Yes, we have Dazzling Gleam ready to go. And... <laughs> Oh yes, my team has improved a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot. Holy crud! And well, get those experience points right there. He's coming out with a Machoke, so let's continue it on right here, guys. Yes, let's go. Let's do it. Another dazzling gleam attack. Okay, alrighty. And uh, well, look at that. Another Machop defeated. And, well, let's see. What else do we have? Let's see. Colby coming out with another Machop. So or Machoke. So let's go ahead and just do this. Use the, uh, let's just use the Dazzling Gleam and destroy this. There we go. And Machoke. Not feeling so buff anymore. Yeah. Not so buff anymore. And two more Pokemon grow levels, which is great. And, oh, look at that. Hydra wants to learn Rain Dance. And as you can see right here, I did teach him some new moves. I'm not going to give it Rain Dance just yet because, well... You know, has those moves right there. And, well, just like that, Colby has been defeated, and he's saluting us. He's like, Crunch! Yes, he is Crunch. Okay. Alrighty, so, let's see. 
So as you can see right here, guys, these guys are being blocked by, you know, by the walls right here. And the way you get through this whole gym is by pushing these walls. And I probably shouldn't have pushed that one right there, but let's go ahead and continue battling, okay? Alrighty, we're the Karate Quads. I will strike a blow for hope with my fist. Hey, I hope! So we got hope. We got a lot of hope. Just a lot, a lot of hope right there. So here we go. Taking on Raphael from the Ninja Turtles, and he's coming out with his Meditite. Let's get it. Okay, so it is both a Psychic and Fighting type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and see if. Oh, yeah, it's going to be super effective. So here we go. Dazzling Gleam. There we go. Meditite. Not feeling it. He's not feeling it at all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, well, there we go. Everybody's getting defeated. He is saluting me. Okay. Alrighty. So hey, everything's good. Go going to according to plan right there. So let's go ahead and swap out some Pokemon. Let's go straight to Ultra Psycho right here, and let's go ahead and push some uh, some of these walls out of the way just so we can get through here. Now, uh, yes, there is another trainer right here. We need a battle. I'm only assuming that when they say quad, it means four, like quadruplets and whatnot. So, let's go ahead and take on Darren right here. He is coming, well, with his macho. Holy crud. Yeah, there was, in real life, there's only been one time where I have actually seen quadruplets. It, it was the funniest thing, guys. I was working at a, well, I was working at pretty much a fun center. Kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese's, that kind of stuff. And I remember working a machine called the Frog Hopper. And we had this one kid come in. He went down the middle, and crud baskets. My battery's going low. And let's see. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? Uh, he went down the middle of Rock Hopper, and the next thing you know, I get these quadruplets just come to me, and it was the funniest thing ever because as soon as I put the, qu the quadruplets from side to side to this kid, he was looking left and right, and he was starting to freak out because... He never saw four girls that looked all alike, you know, quadruplets and stuff. So that's that's some pretty funny stuff right there. Now, here we go with another side Shock. And this Pokemon is eliminated. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All righty. And just like that, Infernomon grows to level 34. And he's coming out with a, another Macho. So I guess these guys are quadruplets for a reason for, like, Macho and whatnot. So let's go again. Psy shock and well, there we go defeated the machoke that is how you do it right there guys holy crud okay and well pennywise or ultra psycho is just getting it okay and well he salutes us and yes he's not forcing a victory okay so you guys are gonna have to give me a minute a moment uh i do have to charge this battery right here i don't want it to go out and plus it's my right hand so don't want that to, to go away. So I'll be right back with you guys. Go, 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 go. Okay, guys. So I had to give it like at least 10 minutes of charge just to get this whole thing going. But yeah, we're back right here. Okay, so we defeated the quadruplets right here. Now it is time for us to actually move on and we'll solve this puzzle right here. As you can see, we, we have to push these these walls to get, give us entrance to every everything else. Now, I, I kind of feel like this is better than... Uh, this is way, way better than the than the, the original one where we had to push, like, what was it, punching bags? I think it was punching bags, yeah. So, let's see. We got to do that. We got to be pushing that. And, well, let's see. We can actually go right here, open this up. That way we have an entry and push this. Oh, actually, you know what? There is one more thing that we need to do right here. And that's push this little sucker right here. And, well, we got entr an entrance right there. Now all we got to do is press this little sucker right here. And there we go. Okay, so that's one. And I wonder where this will lead us. Now we're going to press this, obviously, to open up that one section right there for the gym leader. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's see. It looks like to me we need entry to this location right here. So let's go ahead and press that. Okay, so the entry's right there, and let's see, we gotta push this one right here, and we gotta actually push this one again. There we go, okay. 
All right, yeah, like I said, guys, this is way better than the lad in the original one because holy crud, it took me quite a while to actually figure it out. You guys already know, Raven's special when it comes to these puzzles, and I think I, I think I solved it. Holy crud! Yep, I solved it. I, I, I solved it. Holy crud! Oh wow, that was fast. Okay, never mind. All righty, so here we are of the gym leader herself and well let's go right ahead and heal up our pokemon because uh you don't know what she's gonna dish out right here i actually know what she's gonna dish out all righty so let's see is there anything else that i might need you know what there is one thing one thing that i do need and that is hold on just a sec um old stone spooky stone let's go ahead and give that to pennywise replace that Actually, hold on just a sec. Oh, damn. Okay, never mind. Yeah, let's go ahead and... and uh... Oh, wait. <laughs> I was so confused. Never mind. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and give this... Let's give that to Ultra Psycho, because this is going to be a very physical battle right here. Mind plate. Or, you know what? Let's go ahead and give that to Ultra Psycho. And let's give the Shell Bell... To Hydra right here and I want to give this the quick claw to Infernomon just in case because uh, yeah going up against her uh, going up against this gym leader she does have a very very fast Pokemon and just for that we're gonna give Electro Star the amulet coin just in case so here it is guys our next battle third gym battle back of my head and there she is hello I'm pleased to meet you I'm Maylene I'm the gym leader I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader but I will do my, uh, the best I can as the gym leader I take battling very seriously whenever you're ready here it is guys gym battle number three and that is against Maylene the MMA fighter herself look at her she's ready to go okay bring it here she's coming out with a Meta-type. Now we're playing with a little bit of a... <laughs> yeah, we kind of play with the odds just a tad bit right there. And, well, let's see. We're going to have to switch out Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Pennywise, mainly because it is a Ghost-type Pokemon. She did start off with a little bit of a curveball. And, well, there it is. Pennywise ready to go. Here comes the Light String attack. Now this one right here is made for a specific Pokemon that she does have herself. So we're going to do... Oh wow, she's going to withdraw her Pokemon. And just like that, she's coming out with her Machoke. So yes, the AI right here is acting uh, <laughs> is acting the way I thought it would. So let's go ahead and faint or fire my way. And bam, hit this Machoke like that. And here comes a knockoff. It is super effective, which is ridiculous. And it knocked off our spooky plate, so good gravy. Oh, no! I pressed, I pressed stockpile for no friggin' reason. Holy crud. Okay, so here comes a rock tomb attack, and this one will... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This one will actually lower our speed. Yeah, this should have been done from the get-go. Here comes a psychic attack. And Psychic does its trick right there. Don't know why I did that. Or why... It, well, yeah, I'm trigger happy right here. So, there it is. That's one down. Two to go right here. I think how many... Yeah. You know, how many... Okay, we've, we've been through, what, two, two turns? This is the turn number three right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and use Phantom Force. That way... That way she causes something right here. And here comes a bulk up attack. And as you can see, this Pokemon right here is just ready to attack. Let's go right ahead and use Phantom Force for the win. Say goodbye to Metatite. Holy crud. And if that, that, that wasn't a good enough look at that. Okay. So now she's going to be coming out with a Lucario. I'm going to go straight for Infernomon, mainly because it has that quick claw. I want to get at this Pokemon as fast as possible. Yes, I did teach my Infernomon a few good new moves, and here she is telling us, Oh, but this isn't the end, my friend. Here she's going to be coming out with Lucario, a very strong Pokemon. 
And with the quick claw, it will actually allow us to use flamethrower a little bit quicker. And there we go, flamethrower, hit this steel type Pokemon. And that takes half its HP. And well, this Lucario right here is gonna be bulking up. Now, we really, really have to get at this Pokemon as soon as possible because uh, yeah, the light screen right there kind of wore, like the, the light screen kind of just uh, gave this guy a little bit of an advantage, mainly because, you know, he, he prevented a special attack. But here we go again, flamethrower for the win. Say goodbye to Lucario. Oh yes, I prepared for this one. I really did. Trust me guys, it's Shiny Pearl. I was struggling against this Pokemon. And just like that, we have defeated Maylene. I shall admit defeat. You are too much strong. Or much too strong. <laughs> my verbiage, my verbal. It's 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 out of there. <laughs> okay, you win. That was a tough loss. I learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. And just like that, guys, we get ourselves our third badge. The cobble badge. Nice. Nice. Okay, so that's three badges. Um, I should explain about that badge. If you have an official Pokemon League badge, you can use the hit and move fly from uh, your Poketech. Oh, and please take these as well. And we get ourselves some stickers from Malene. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. And we get ourselves the TM60s, which is also great. And, well, each TM60s contains the move Drain Punch. Um, that, moves if, that move inflicts damage and robs the target of its HP. Gee, I'm hungry. Oh, sorry, it's nothing. I didn't say anything. Draven, I can't explain what it means to be strong or how much effort it goes into it. But being with Pokemon lets us keep making the effort, doesn't it? It does. It really does. Okay, so that right, that right there has actually been a pretty... Well, I guess you could say I learned from Shiny Pearl. Now, here we have our girlfriend, May, and she's like... Or not May, but Dawn. She's like, hi, Draven, can you please help me? I dropped my Pokedex by accident and a Team Galactic took it. Now they won't give it back! I really need your help. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouse. Please come! Okay. Alrighty. Well, that right there is a, an adventure in itself, but let's go right ahead and take a look at the new Pokedex, or the new, uh, the new uh, badge right here. Look at that. Three badges in all. I cannot wait for the, ne the next gym battle. But anywho, guys, that has been our... That has been the episode right here. Stay tuned in the next episode. We're going to be doing a lot more. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Merry Christmas, guys, and a Happy New Year to all. See you guys.